Yo, what up guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I make my intros using an amazing software called Rotato. I'll link it below so you can go download it. There's a free version, but if you're at all serious about showcasing your work in a professional and sexy way, then trust me, just go for the paid version. I bought it like a couple years ago and have not regretted it once. So once you've downloaded it, you'll also need a screen recording of your app and perhaps a background image as well if you like. Now when you open up Rotato, you'll have all of these different options to choose from, different phones and different MacBooks, but I'm just going to go for a regular iPhone 12. Now you can see here that they give you the dimensions of your screen recording or a screen capture, but the best way is to just screen record straight from your device or your simulator, and the size will match up perfectly. So you can just drag your recording in and we can specify this background to be clear or you can also just drag in an image and if you look at the bottom tab this is where the animations are created so if i just drag this a little bit you can see the timeline of the entire video and it's already got a default animation so if you just play this this is just the default animation and one tip i'll give you when you're screen recording your apps I always leave it still at the beginning for like a few seconds. So you can see here, nothing's moving at the beginning of my recording until about later on, say like seven seconds in, then the actual app starts moving. And the reason why I do that is because I just want to give it enough time for these animations to come into play. So I don't want anything on the screen to move yet so that the animations can kick in. Cool. Now you can also change the device color, of course. And you can click on this little box here to get the exact color that you like. And in terms of the animations itself, so if you click on this animation, you can look at the top here. This is probably the most important part of using this software, using these positions, X, Y, Z, and also the rotation X, Y, Z as well. So the best way to really understand this is to just play around with the numbers so for example right if i just add a new frame to put a new animation in let's play around with the first x position so if i just say two you can see it's shifting to the left the more positive the number the more left on the x-axis that it goes and of course conversely if i do negative numbers it's going to just move along the x-axis now for the X, I just want this to be in the middle, so I'm just going to leave it at zero. Let's play around with the Y. You can move this along the vertical Y axis, but let's just leave this to be zero. And finally, the Z axis. So just playing around with some of these numbers, if I say 40, then you can see the bigger the number, the further back it goes. So the positions should be hopefully straightforward to understand. Now you can also control this rotation. Again, just to play with the numbers, if I increase the numbers on the rotation X, you can see the way that it's rotating. As opposed to rotating the Y, if I say like 90 degrees, it rotates 90 degrees from basically left to right. And 180 is just gonna flip it all the way to the backside. And then the last axis that you can rotate is the Z axis, so you can see the way it's rotating as I play around with these numbers. So obviously with the ability to control these six values, just depending on your creativity, the limit is actually endless, right? But one of the common tricks I like to use is make the Y rotation 180 so that I can see the Apple logo. And I like to zoom in really close to the Apple logo just at the beginning. So if I play this, it starts off from the back side at the Apple logo and then it just flips to the front of the phone. Now that was very fast so you can drag this out to make it slower. Now you can see in each animation it's got this little line curve. And basically what that does is you can select from all of these different styles and it's just basically just changing the way it animates from the start to the finish. And once you get comfortable with these numbers, it's actually quite fun to play around and think of different animations for it. But you can click on this middle tab and there's some already pre-made animations that you can use. So probably a good idea to just start off with these templates. And then after you get comfortable with it, you can start playing around with the actual numbers of rotation and the position. 
Cool. And then once you're done with your animations, you can click on this render video or render movie tab and select the options that you want. And also when you close the Rotato app, it also just prompts you to save this animations that you created so that next time you can just use them right away without recreating them. So whether you're an app developer trying to showcase your portfolio or you're creating an ad for your business, this software is super helpful and makes your work look much more professional. Play around with it and let me know if there are any issues. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters!